I'm with the Australian Skills Quality Authority and we have a, a, quite a number of challenges um, and barriers that we face to be able to deliver the outcomes that we want to deliver from a digital perspective. Um, look, to me, I think the most pressing um, is probably around the, the building a digital culture within our organisation and uh, ensuring that our, um, our, um, our business areas are able to fully embrace what it is that we're, we're trying to do from a digital perspective. Um, some of the uh, ways we're looking at overcoming that is we've developed our own internal communities of practice to deliver um, agile training um, and ways of working, human-centered design and CX focus to really ensure that our business areas um, are fully equipped and fully aware of, um, the, the, I guess, the future ways that we, we want to operate as an agency. And the way I, I guess my vision in that space is to um, make digital and data, for that matter, um, ubiquitous to, to, to business. Um, so yeah, a lot, a lot going on to address that challenge, and um, uh, we um, yeah, as throughout the, the journey of our program, we'll hope to have that nailed. Yeah, so look, very, very high, very, very high priority initiatives. Um, this includes, uh, like I said, a fundamental um, redesign and rethink of how we operate uh, and the tools we use to, to deliver that, um, moving uh, away from traditional on-premise uh, products into a cloud-based uh, environment and then leveraging the, um, the flexibility, agility and um, capabilities that that, that, uh, that brings. Um, along with that uh, is, is a very strong focus on um, shifting towards a, um, a very customer first voice of the customer uh, mentality as well. Um, so that's um, that's really good. So we're really nailing um, what our what our um, our customers, which are uh, vocation education and training providers, really really need from us to help uh, them be confident in, in delivering um, against our regulatory objectives and delivering quality training outcomes for the community. Yeah, so look, we're, we're um, using a lot of tools and strategies to accomplish our goals. Um, we have a, a focus on, um, uh, a, 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 I guess you could say, a, um, a Microsoft tech stack uh, as, as a, from, a, from a technical perspective uh, and using that. So we're leveraging whole of government architecture um, to uh, and reusing government architecture, um, already established patterns, tools and systems. So from a technical perspective, that's, that's the, the tools and strategies we're aiming to use to, to transform. Um, from a um, probably from a, a business perspective or from a, a, a broader digital perspective for that matter um, we're undertaking a, a very comprehensive customer experience research uh, and using that to inform a lot of the um, the concepts and the and the um, I guess uh, to use an agile term epics that we're uh, that we're uh, developing um, further to that also um, really um, establishing uh, the use of multidisciplinary teams um, and also, uh, like I said, overhauling earlier or overhauling the ways of working to, to be more, more uh, work with greater agility and uh, be able to pivot uh, should we need to from demand. So they're, they're a list of like, the strategies, I guess, we're using to, to ensure the success, the success of our transformation program. Yeah, so um, the, look, the ultimate objective of our, our transformation program is I guess very aspirational, but is to become a model regulator in the Australian Public Service. Uh, and to do that, we need to be able to um, better use our um, data assets that we've got, better consume other people's data assets, and then um, be able to analyse those as effective as possible to be able to make risk proportionate decisions um, against how we're going to regulate. Um, to that, however, from a, from a more um, customer-centric perspective, um, we also, being a small agency, we can't go out there and we can't regulate everybody all the time. So we need to look at better ways that we can uh, inform our, our sector um, and educate our sector uh, around where our regulatory priorities lie and how they can then um, work uh, within themselves and within the, 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 the sector more broadly to um, be able to meet those, meet those objectives and, and obviously lessen the administrative burden that's required for them and the regulatory burden that's required for us to do so. So um, we are you know, embarking on um, uh, delivering quality educative products, um, delivering um, again for them uh, like communities of practice that they can uh, they can mingle themselves in there in a moderated environment. Uh, all these things that um, that they've asked for as part of our customer experience research, uh, we're embarking on uh, delivering those to, to help um, drive their, um, their outcomes as much as our the regulatory outcomes. Yeah, look, it's a big one, collaboration. Um, I, I think we see it mostly with data. 
um, and being able to share data sets and, and, and collaborate uh, on um, ensuring a smooth flow of, of that information um, you know, between um, uh, departments, agencies um, and portfolios uh, across the APS. Um, reason I say uh, data is because um, from, a, from a business perspective, no one can hold every piece of data that they need um, and uh, the amount of effort required, I guess, to um, to go and seek that data set and, and getting it uh, anew um, is, is quite challenging and quite cumbersome. Uh, it takes a lot of resources and time where we've got the ability to, to link into other data sets that will help us inform, um, uh, will help us provide, you know, we can pull that data and use that data. A um, lot, lot, lot less impost on, on us as an organisation um, and, you know, still have the richness of the data that we, we need. Uh, from a client or a customer perspective, um, it's, it really improves the UX. And one of the pain points that was clearly addressed in our research that we undertook was um, the, uh, the, their requirement to provide the same data multiple times, um, being able to share data, collaborate with um, other agencies on, on data sets, um, really moves, uh, alleviates the, that and, and removes the, um, the burden, I guess, of, of, of providing a lot of um, the same data to the same people all the time. People don't care where the data comes from as long as it's, you know, it's government, they've given it to the government, that's all they need to, to worry about. Um, it's us in the, in the background that are really limiting the collaboration and um, building you know, memorandums of understanding and, and data linkages um, with, with other agencies and departments to be able to really you know, take, take um, charge and, and really be empowered by the richness of the data that we can get. Yeah, look, there is, and, and um, I think the, the biggest takeaway I've taken out of today is um, we there's no new daunting challenges out there that aren't already being looked at and addressed. There's no, you know, there's, there's a lot of opportunity to come from those challenges. I'm, I'm just listening to you know, a breadth of, of speakers from multiple different disciplines um, and different perspectives, um, ultimately coming through with a very common thread around the challenges that, that are, that are um, uh, facing the public sector and, and probably the private sector more broadly, but the public sector around um, digital and, and data. Um, and so that to me is, is validating because I, I share those experiences in the work I'm doing in that as well. So I know I'm not stranded on an island by myself that you know, there's, there's a really, um, everyone is experiencing uh, the, the similar, uh, similar challenges as to us. So it's quite validating. So that's probably my biggest takeaway from today is that validation piece.